so here's some of the things we need to get started today. So I'm going to show a couple different ways to do paper mache, but some of the basics you need, no matter which way you're going to do it, is you're going to need water. You're going to need some kind of container to make a paste in. Um, you're going to need something to put your paper mache on, so some kind of bowl or plate or something that you want to make the shape of. So you're also going to need a pinch of salt, you're going to need flour, um, you're going to need some tape, scissors, and some clear plastic wrap, saran wrap. Okay, and then I'm going to show a couple different options on how to make our paper mache fancy. So you can either use paper strips, so I have some paper strips cut here. You could also use string, so if you have some yarn scraps, you can cut that up and use some string. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna cover the outside of my bowl with plastic wrap so that my paper mache doesn't stick directly to my bowl. Just like that, nice and wrapped up. Okay, so my bowls are wrapped and ready to go. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make my paste. So I'm going to be using um, one part flour to two parts water. So, roughly. I'm not gonna measure. I'm also just going to add a touch of salt. So the little bit of salt is just so that my paste doesn't get moldy. And so I'm gonna add most of my water here. I think I have a little bit more than I need. And I'm gonna just mix this up. All right, so now I have my paste, it's all nice and stirred up, and I can get to putting this guy together. All right, so I'm gonna get to putting my bowl together now. I've got my paste here, I got most of the lumps out, there's still a couple, but. Um, so I'm gonna do the strip bowl first. This is like the most basic one, this is the easiest way uh, to make a nice durable bowl. Keep in mind, none of these are going to be food safe. Um, you can like seal them with paint if you'd like at the end. I'll show you how to do that too, but um, you're not making an A bowl you can eat out of. All right, so first strips, I'm just gonna take strips of paper, run it through my paste, and then just kind of use my fingers as a squeegee. So take my two fingers like this, squeegee off the extra, and just start laying those down nice and flat. And what I always like to do is I always like to start with like a star kind of a pattern. All right, once I've kind of gone all the way around and over my bowl once in like the star kind of a pattern, I'm gonna start using some smaller pieces and going around the rim this way. Then I'm just gonna alternate back and forth. So I kind of went around doing sideways strips. And now I'm gonna go back to the X kind of a pattern for a little bit here. And I'm just gonna keep kind of going back and forth between those two things until I have like four or five layers of paper on here. All right. So my bowl probably has about four layers of paper on it now. And so the last kind of layer of paper that I want to do is I want to do nice little pieces because the smaller the pieces, the easier it is to get them to lay totally flat. And if you get them to lay totally flat and nice and smooth, it'll make it easier to paint our bowl after it's dry. So I think my bowl's looking pretty good. Um, it doesn't have a lot of little ends sticking up anywhere. It's mostly nice and flat and tacked down and it's got a good layer. And so now I'm just going to let it dry. The best place to let it dry is in a sunny window somewhere or somewhere with like airflow that'll make it dry faster because uh, this does take a little bit of time to dry. All right, so while my other bowl over here is drying, I'm gonna do one here with string. So you can also use strings to make yourself a cute little bowl. So I've got a bunch of different yellow string here. I'm just gonna start with a couple strands. I already cut these into like strips so they'd be easier to work with. I'm 
just going to dunk my strings in here, get them nice and gluey. And then same kind of way I did with my papers, just sort of squeegee it off as I take it out. And I'm just going to start coiling it up on my bowl. Alrighty, so I let my bowls dry overnight, and now they're nice and hard, um, and so now we can take them off their molds and see how they did, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to decorate them. So this guy here, he's not gonna need any decorating. Look at how cool this one turned out. It looks really sweet. Um, so I'm just gonna try and take the bowl part out. All right. And there we go. So this is our little string bowl. This will be a cute little dish for your keys or whatever you want to use. So this wouldn't be like water resistant or anything like that. Like if you got it wet, it would start to get soft again. Um, so if you were planning on using it for like a plant or something like that, lots of people like to put plants in these, you'd have to seal it with something. So you could use um, like a urethane or any kind of like a, any kind of sealant basically that is water resistant. Um, kind of seal this guy. Now let's check out this one here. I had to loosen him off the table. He was pretty stuck down there. So before we go ahead and decorate it, we're just going to trim it off here. Alright, so once I have this guy trimmed up, so it's nice, looks like a bowl now, uh, I'm going to paint it up. Now again, when I'm painting, same thing with this one here. So like I said, this is not water resistant or waterproof at all because um, it's basically just held together with like flour starch, right? So if you started to get it really, really wet, it's going to start to get soft again. So when you're painting, you want to make sure that you're using several thin coats to get the color you want instead of using like one thick coat. I love the ones that look like fruit in the inside. So I'm going to do mine like that. If you want really bright, vibrant colors, a good idea is to just give your bowl an all over coat of white first. Okay, so I put a coat of white on this guy here so that um, any of that kind of colors from the paper will be covered up really nicely. And I'm gonna paint mine to look like a lemon. All right. So there's my lemon bottom. Now I'm going to move to the inside of my lemon. Alright, and that's our little finished lemon bowl. Hope you guys like this. Um, check back next Thursday for another little video.